You know all those annoying Excel functions that just don't work as you expect? Well, Microsoft didn't have a mechanism for fixing them until now. So let's go take a look. Have you ever wondered why Microsoft don't just fix old Excel problems? Well, often they can't. It's estimated that there are a billion Excel users in the world, which means hundreds of billions, if not trillions of workbooks have been created. If any single one of those files is opened, it should calculate and return exactly the same result as when it was first created. Even if the result is an error, it should still show an error, which means that once a function becomes generally available, it's pretty much unchangeable because who knows how many spreadsheets are using that function. So how have Microsoft solved this? Well, they've introduced a feature called compatibility versions. This means users can set workbooks to use newer versions of functions and features. Initially, they have updated just five functions, len, mid, search, find, and replace, because these functions now support emoji characters, and I'll show this in the next demo. But remember, this specific example isn't the star of the show. The fact this is possible using compatibility versions and what this means for the future of Excel, that is the star of the show. Here I have a text string which says Excel is awesome. Let's add a len function to calculate how many characters. And as you can see, it has 16 characters. Now let's add a space and a smiley face emoji. So that's two more characters, which means we expect 18, but instead it returns 19. How is that possible? Well, it's because Excel was created long before emojis. And emojis are actually the combination of multiple Unicode characters, which are then represented as a single character. Excel currently counts them as two individual Unicode characters instead of the single character. And this is where compatibility versions comes in. If we go to formulas, calculation options, and then compatibility versions, there we have two options. Version one, which is the existing method, and version two, which is the new method. When I change to version two, the formula recalculates and now displays the correct value of 18. This is a workbook level setting and it travels with the workbook. Currently, all workbooks created are set to version one, but in January 2026, once version two is available across all the channels of Excel 365, Microsoft have said that version two will become the default for all new workbooks. Now this won't change historical workbooks because they will still be set to version one. I'm not sure which features and functions Microsoft are intending to update, but personally, I would like two functions updated. Firstly, I would like the aggregator if and aggregator ifs functions, such as some ifs and count ifs, to accept arrays. For example, I have a count ifs function. It counts how many items that contain the letter A. There are duplicate items in this list, so I might want to use the unique function. But suddenly, the function can't calculate at all. And that's because unique changes the range into an array and count ifs only works with ranges, not arrays. Secondly, I would like the functions created for the analysis tool pack to work with arrays. Here we have the EO month function. It calculates the month end for a specific date, but when we drag the formula range down, it doesn't work. Instead, we have to change the range value into an array by forcing a calculation on the range. For example, if I add a plus sign before the range value, it now works. So they are the two function changes I would like to see in the future. And I'd love to know what features and functions you would like updated. So let me know in the comments. Now, how do we know which compatibility version we are in? Well, we can find out using a formula. Here in this cell, I'll type equals if opening bracket. And we are going to use the len function, which calculates the length of a string. The string we want to use is a smiley face emoji in double quotes. And we want to check where that equals a single character. If it does, then we are in compatibility version two. If it doesn't equal a single character, 
then we are in compatibility version one. And there you can see we are in version two. For members of our Excel Academy, we've got a simple Lambda for this already. Using the function vault add-in and the quick calc library, you can find the FX compatibility version function in the list. You can then click the button to insert that into your workbook. Then just apply that function without any arguments and it returns the current compatibility version. And there you can see we are in version two. Now, if we go to formulas, calculation options and compatibility versions and change the workbook to version one, that now updates. Currently, this setting doesn't exist in Excel online, but to ensure consistency, I'm guessing it must be coming soon. So using compatibility versions, we can access improved functions without breaking legacy files. We can share workbooks confidently with colleagues and we can avoid unexpected formula changes. Now, if you like this video, why not subscribe to our channel and get notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Go on, click that button. And once you've done that, why not watch this video next? I think it's another one you'll really enjoy. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.